Greetings. I've been asking Pastor Jason if I could get a chance to share a little bit about prayer and the tools that we need. Being our this new series is going to deal with prayer. I thought it would be he thought it would be a good time and I thought it'd be a good time as well. And and one of the things I want us to know is that um, in the Bible, the disciples asked Jesus, would you teach us to pray? And prayer is intimate communication with God. It's how we build intimacy. It's, and what we want to do is, it's also a type of warfare. And what we want to do is help equip you a little bit better. This is just one of many things that I want to show you. I have a book that I carry. And it's just a little notebook, as you can see. It's called my prayer journal. And the simplicity of this prayer journal is I divide it up into sections by using sticky notes. And it makes it nice because you can crush them. It doesn't get in the way. And the prayer journal is about organizing your time. Because if you look at prayer as spiritual warfare, uh, most commanders go in there with some sort of a plan of attack. And I think it's important that you have a plan of attack. I also think it's important that you understand that we're building a relationship. So inside the cover, which you can't see, and also on my first page, I put Matthew 6, 9 through 15, because it's at that point that the disciples asked Jesus to teach him to pray. And I know we pray the Lord's Prayer as a prayer, and, and that's great. But it's also more than a prayer. It's an outline of how to pray, how God wants us to pray, so that we cover all the bases that He wants. And so in a prayer journal, it kind of focuses on that. It, it, you use the, the outline of Matthew 6, 9 through 15. In this prayer journal, uh, the first section I have is daily prayer. These things are written in this, in this journal. They're things that I pray for every day. They don't change. Like I pray for my family, my walk with God, uh, my wife. I pray for the pastors of the church and the church and government. These are things that we're to pray for daily, that we hold them up. And then I have a section. You turn the page, and it's actually prayer requests. And I haven't totally completed this because I was kind of showing you what I'm building here. And on one half of it, what I write is I put a date, and then I write what the prayer request is. And the reason that I do this, because it's important that we keep track when people ask us to pray for things or something comes up, God shows you you need to be praying for something, I date it. And then over here, I, when, I, when I hear of the answer to prayer, because I make sure I can track my prayer request, so I can just ask, well, what happened? Uh, like the church is praying for my sister, and yesterday I got word that they found the problem and she's going home. So we were excited about that. It could have been a lot worse. And so I would put today's day, or yesterday's date, and I would put answered prayer, or I'd put just a note of what, what it was I was praying for. So I have on this side, I have prayer, requests dated and then on this side it's answered prayer because a lot of times we forget or we get tired of praying because we don't hear the testimonies and here's an opportunity to not only hear them but to see them you can go back through and see how important your prayer is the next part of the journal is just that it's the journal when you when you pray and read your word it's important that you learn to pray the Word. And to do that, you have to read the Word and, and know it, and you begin to pray it. And sometimes God will show you something, or something will just kind of strike your fancy. And you just want to jot that down and so that you can go back through it and, and uh, learn from it and use it and let it medit or meditate on it and let it soak into your life. And, and then the last part of of it, which I haven't marked, there's a, a last part, is sometimes you go on some sort of a spiritual journey, whether you fast or, or maybe you go on a missions trip. And on that part of it, on that last part of the journal, it's a good opportunity to write down, keep track of what you did. I have, I have another notebook that, starting on the back side of it, that I've gone on a couple of fasts and I've actually journaled what I've learned in that time and what's the experiences that I had. Um, 
I had a, another journal that I journaled, a missions trip, that I, a short-term missions trip that I went on. And it was, a, it was a great opportunity. Even today I go back through it and read the things that I went through, the great times. So the journal is really designed to help you organize and, and truly enjoy your experience in prayer. Even though it is warfare, it's going to be a battle. But this gives you an opportunity to track where you are, where you've been, and get a chance to see in writing, in your own writing, how God has answered your prayers. I, I appreciate the opportunity to share this little tool with you, and I hope it's something that you can use and be blessed by it.